Hello and thanks for joining me today. It is not Saturday here, but it should be where you are if you're watching this on the day it comes out. If it's not, I hope you're having a great day and looking forward to a good weekend. I have some chicken and house and garden updatey things. If you don't remember, this is separate from our other question video. Our thought for the day kind of video, it goes out on Sundays and is separate from this one, which is just us kind of chatting about what we're doing at home. So what is going on in the garden? Well, at this point in the year, we'd normally be putting the garden to bed, but our lazy process for putting the garden to bed is to let out avatars of chaos, like this one. And this one, and this one. Yes, yes, our chickens are free, or at least mostly free. They're free to roam most of the garden. Uh, we let them out in the winter. They kind of weed the beds for us by which I mean they destroy the beds and they throw all the soil onto the grass and generally cause chaos, uh, which is why there's some fencing up because we don't want them to destroy our asparagus bed, which is over there. And we also don't want them to eat all the kale, which they will do, given the opportunity. They are, however, doing a really good job of destroying our strawberry bed. So we probably should have fenced that off. Uh, the other thing we fenced off over here, that there, that lovely bit of green there, that is sorrel. And if you haven't tried sorrel, I heartily recommend it. We use it on fish. It provides a nice lemony flavor. And it's one of those things you can't really buy in the store because it goes bad so quickly. You just kind of pick it and throw it straight on the food. I'm going to put my mug down because I'm going to take you to the greenhouse, which is the site I fear of somewhat of a massacre. So it has been pretty cold here the last few days. It was about minus four. That is what is that? Uh, 28, 29 Fahrenheit, 32 minus a bit less than four, so something like that. Um, and our greenhouse is not heated, so I came out here today just to check because I kind of figured things would not be looking great. Prepare yourselves. Yeah, everything is dead, Dave everything is dead. That said, it looks like we might, might be able to save a couple of the peppers, and we did manage to eat the uh, eggplant. Aubergine? Aubergine is the word. Uh, it's eggplant in America, aubergine in Britain, um, which we grew. We only got one off the plant, but we did get one. It was very tasty. Had it on a frittata. And it's also coming up to time to prune a lot of this back. Uh, but to a certain extent, we just let the chickens do that. Um, some of this will prune back, but some of it they'll dig up and it just rots down into the beds, which is really nice. Provides lots of extra nutrients. And then because the chickens are out here and we have the area the chickens were in still fenced off, we do actually need to take down the netting because, uh, yeah, because there's a lot of leaves on it. I won't talk about that too much, but uh, we have put down a bunch of green manure. Now you can't see anything yet because it's all just seeds, but hopefully, because birds can't get in there, they'll actually get a chance to seed, uh, to, to set their roots and start growing. Hello. It's all right. You're all right. Um, they think I'm a rooster. I'm not a rooster, but I do pick them up sometimes. And so the green manure will help. The chickens have obviously spent the summer pooing in there. Um, the soil in this garden is generally pretty awful, um, at least for growing things that aren't sort of big pine trees and fir trees and cedars, um, which is obviously what would naturally be growing here. Uh, but that in particular, it looks like it was once a bed and then it was covered with plastic and then the plastic was covered with soil so the chickens have always dug up lots of plastic there and we always have to keep pulling bits of plastic out um, but they've spent the summer in there and they have ravaged it but also covered it in poo so hopefully with the green manure there that soil might actually start to be usable for growing something which would be really nice uh, so that is kind of where we're at with the chickens and it's kind of where we're at 
with the uh, garden. Oh no, it's not where we're totally at with the chickens. I don't know that she'll let us come over because she's kind of hiding herself at the moment. But poor Pips is molting. Yes, I know, it's very mean of me to film you. Yes, I'm an atrocious human. Come on, you want to turn around? No, you're just going to show us your bum. All right. So Pippi always molts in the winter or the, the late fall. I have absolutely no clue why she times it this way. I think just because of when she was born. But Astrid always manages it a bit earlier. Pippi always ends up coming into the winter looking like she's freezing. Uh, we actually close off some of the vents in the coop, which we've done already this year. Um, and that helps with Pippi staying warm enough. Yeah, so that is kind of the chicken update and the garden update. But the house, we have exciting news. The more exciting news for me is that we are very close to having our permit signed off. We've had our electrical permit signed off. We have not yet had our final sign off for the house because our water is too hot, which is my fault. Uh, and I can fix that very easily. Uh, unfortunately, we have a gas boiler. Um, yes, I know I am a heathen climate change denier because I have a gas boiler. Uh, it was a decision that I regret, but it's the decision I made. And unless someone wishes to fund a replacement, then we are currently offsetting that by buying gas from um, landfill gas. Uh, we, we can't yet buy enough landfill gas to offset it completely, but we're buying a lot of landfill gas, uh, the maximum we're allowed. So the other exciting news, our solar panels are going to be going on in the next two months. They need to be in and in service before the end of the year. So this is a bit of a run, especially considering we've got a metal roof. Um, and as I've mentioned, it's been icy and frosty. And the other thing that we need for our permit, sorry, sidetracked, is that our bathroom fan stopped working. It uh, stopped working <laughs> a little bit ago, and I've been grumpily refusing to replace it on the basis that we'll soon be using the other bathroom and then I can take my time and do it in my own time and speed. But no, and also I was feeling grouchy about having to replace it with the same fan just for the sake of ease, because that's where all the pipes and cable routing is. But just for the sake of that, I've just sucked it up. We'll buy another one. We're barely going to use that bathroom anyway once we start using the ensuite. So it can just sit there and hopefully it'll be OK. I'm hoping the one in the other bathroom will be better because it's a slightly more expensive one from the same brand. Who knows? Yeah, that's a whole topic that we'll be talking about tomorrow in our uh, question for you. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Let me know what you're doing in your gardens and at your homes and yeah, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, it's time for some credits. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room, there is a link in the video description. And if you really liked it, why not leave us a super thanks? It's easy to do and everything you send goes towards helping us make great content. If you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed to this channel and our other channel, Transport Evolved. Yes, I do read the comments and I did notice I was making a mistake. So thank you for pointing that out. And give the bell a gentle ring to make sure you're told when our next video goes live. And before I go, check out our regular sponsors. Links are down below. And if you use either company and use the relevant codes, you will be helping us out too. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew. Go out to everyone who makes this channel possible. That includes everyone who supports us on Patreon and YouTube, as well as those of you who just watch the videos and share them. And make sure you do share them widely, please, because YouTube is not sharing our videos with anyone. If you're a supporter at the charged up level, you'll see your name right here on my right. I'm holding the phone in my other hand, so I can't gesture. And if you just joined, we're sorry if your name isn't showing yet. We currently render the list out every week or so, but sometimes videos like this one are produced a little bit in advance. 
Thanks to our self-driving supporters, Mike Reader, Patrick Boyarski, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Michael Goad, Bennett Elder, Andrew Martin, Pedro Mura Pinheiro, Brophy Wolf, Chris and Michael Johnson, Tessa in the Gong, Dan Blair, Peter Dillinger, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Kyle Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Raging Fellows, Jen, Denny Hyde, Chris Center and Jim Burness, and of course, out of this world, thanks to our Starman supporters, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, JP Fagerback, Joe Bresney, John Lyons, Rory Litwin, Kevin Burbridge, Dave Kitchen, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnak, Paul Conway, Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian. Want to be part of the amazing list? You can join Patreon at the link below, hit the join button below to support us on YouTube, or show us your support through Bitcoin, Kofi, or our cool swag store links are all down there. And if you're unable to support us financially, just know that watching the video and sharing it really makes a massive difference to how well our videos perform. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving!